Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can transfer photos uh, over to a USB uh, thumb drive or USB drive. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to need to use an adapter. So this is the USB-C adapter to USB-A. So you want to plug in your USB drive into this adapter. You can get this adapter online for a few dollars. They are come in different variations. So this one here, I've got, got it from my Pixel phone. But, but you can purchase online. Uh, it will look a little bit a little bit different, but that's fine. It will work. So we're going to plug this one into the adapter, and then we plug the adapter directly into your device, like so. And then what we want to do is we're going to go down, swipe down, and tap on the settings icon. In settings, you want to go down, and tap on accounts and backup. Then in here, tap on external storage transfer. And then we're going to choose backup to USB storage. Okay, next, it's uh, select everything. It's a, there's not enough space uh, on this drive. That's fine because um, I don't want to transfer everything. Uh, for example, apps, I can deselect apps. I don't want to, uh, to transfer apps over. Uh, in this video, we're just interested in uh, transferring images and videos over to the USB drive. So what I can do is I will select all, then I tap on it again to deselect everything. And then we go down here and select images and videos. Now, if you take a notice, you can see over here, there is a right arrow. You can tap on that and that will go into here. And in here, you can actually um, individually select um, each of the items. You can see on here in cameras folder, it is 106 photos. So if you tap on that, you can also go in here and choose which photos that you want to select or deselect. So you can even deselect any photos that you don't want to transfer over to your USB drive. Okay, I'm going to tap on done to get out of that. Now the same as videos, you can tap on the right arrow and that will go into a sub category. And here you can go into one of the albums and choose anything that you want to copy or not copy over. I'm going to deselect some of the items uh, such as this two here. Uh, I don't need it, so I'm going to deselect it. And now you can see my file size has uh, dramatically decreased and there's only a few hundred megabytes to transfer over. So I'm going to tap on backup. And because I don't have a lot of photos and videos, uh, it's uh, there is only one minute left. So there's not a lot of data to, tra to uh, transfer over. Now you can also tap on the keep screen on uh, radio button so that you can uh, keep track of the progress. So we're just gonna wait for that to finish. Okay, now it is at 96%. So it's nearly finished. Nice copying a video over. because the video file is quite uh, big, so it can take some time. Now we're just gonna wait. Okay, when it finished, it will um, raise a notification sound and it shows a uh, backup result, uh, images and videos. Now we're gonna tap on next. And they say, oh set, here are some other ways you can restore data on your new phone. Tap each one to learn more. So that's fine, I'm gonna tap on done. And that's it, so now we have uh, successfully transferred the photos and videos over to the USB drive. So let's first, uh, we're going to uh, go to the file uh, system and check it out. So I'm going to go into uh, app screen, tap on the Samsung folder, then tap on my files. And then I'm gonna tap on USB storage one. And then here it's got smart switch backup two. So I tap on that and see what is inside this folder. It's got two items. So I tap on that. It's got eight items in here and there is a backup media database. So if I go in here, it's got all these um, settings, uh, photo origin is one, data if I tap on that, photo editor, then there's three items. So here are the original photos within the deep structure. Okay, now if I go back out here, 
then you got photo and then you got video uh, if i go into uh, photo there's a uh, two folder smart switch and then this sim and then co background i've got camera so here are all the photos uh, from camera and you can see it is now has copied back to my usb uh, drive but they are copied within uh, all this uh, weird uh, structure you can see all these uh, numbers in here it has all these different uh, cryptic numbers in here that you can't really tell what they are uh, until you actually go into deep down into the sub folder so if we go back into uh, our settings menu and then we go into uh, accounts and backup and then you can see in here we got uh, external um, storage transfer so if i tap on that um, we can see it tells us um, when was the last time that we have uh, backup so they got a like, kind of like a history that you can actually tap on and if you tap on that you can actually now restore it back to your device so that is why in the usb you see all that are funny uh, names uh, because it is designed so that when you plug your usb back in here you can later on restore it to your device if some of the photos has gone missing or something you can always restore it from your usb drive so you don't have to uh, manually copy them over you just have to go in here tap on the restore button and it will automatically uh, restore it back to your photo gallery in the correct structure and that's it finally you can tap on the home key to go back to your home screen thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more videos now just one last thing before we finish off this video uh, well, after you have finished um, backing up your photos uh, or videos to your USB drive do not or uh, simply just unplug it from your phone because uh, sometimes you may not know whether you have um, totally uh, completed the backup process or not so what you want to do first is just swipe down at the top here then tap on the USB storage edit so tap on that so not that one so i'm just going to go back in here and try to look for the usb so maybe tap on this um, drop down arrow and then you can see if i tap on that drop down arrow right here on the put down so tap on that and then tap on unmount so you want to unmount your usb drive first before you remove it from your phone and that's it now we can remove it and that's done now you can uh, go ahead and I'll put this in a safe place uh, and the next time when you uh, want to backup again you can also use this usb to perform another backup thank you for watching